Hi guys, this is um, my other Phalaenops um, Phalaenopsis orchid, and it is in the purple flower. I'm going to show you a little close up on the flower right there. Isn't she beautiful? So I hope you enjoy the rest of my vlog. You're going to hit the the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. I always get questions of why or how I'm able to keep my flowers constantly blooming if it's not in bloom. It's constantly producing buds, and that's always what is happening. So for this one, she's, um, I don't know why I never really started to vlog it when I first got her, but um, the this stalk, this is the third batch of flowers. Um, let's see, or no, yeah, they these came when I got the flower itself. I mean the the plant itself and these are the third batch the new ones like this is a new one right here a new branch um, this is gonna be the first bloom um, but for the most part like I'm gonna show you real quick this I've had to cut after the second batch of blooms so this one here is new new growth that's the first batch but for the most part the, these stalks right here these were um from when i first purchased this plant that was i would say like i think two years ago i think it was two years ago i'm not really sure i think it was two years ago um so what i do and i think this really contributes to the constant um flowering is so what i think um does a great job in regards to constant blooms and buds and stuff like that is that i use a uh this lechuza self watering pot and don't worry everything that i'm using for this plant will be linked down below so you guys if you're interested you can check that out um i think the semi hydro situation it really does contribute to that. Also, I do um, give it nutrients when I water. Um, I have never changed or replaced the orchid bark that she has been in since I first got her. Um, what I have noticed, though, is that through time... Um, because initially it will um lechuza will let you know that when it, this system goes to minimum you give it seven days to dry out and you add more water you can either dump the le the water that is left in there and what i do um there have been times where i won't dump the water and there are times that i will dump the water um maybe every i would say maybe after every other watering I'll dump and clean it. And the reason that I do that is because sometimes this can get sticky. And I always pull this up because sometimes it will say it's low or above. And that is just due to just constant water and moisture that's in there. And that's normal. It will just happen like that. Um, so I always check this out. And when I do rinse it out, I rinse this one. I also rinse the reservoir that's in, in the bottom. Um, I'll show you guys that this can be lifted, which I do prefer a system that you can lift an insert in. I think that's better because if you do kind of add a little bit more water than you wanted, when this needle goes above the minimum line, I would suggest dump, um, dump some of that water. I never want to add more than that, and the reason for that is I've had um, plant fatalities due to that, but that was in the very beginning of me starting to use some hydro or hydro or self watering pots. It, um, so I didn't really know. And of course I realized that you really have to follow directions in regards to that because they really did test it and they do tell you to do it that way. Um, so this is what I do and um, I think I have an alert to check her every 30 days. She was supposed, to, my alert was today actually. And when I noticed, she still has like a ton of water in her. So I decided to just, you know, give her extra time and not really water her today because she still got a ton of water. There's no need to give her more water right now. Um, so this is just what I do. There's been a ton of questions. Um, I've been, this is the only way I know how to grow my orchids. 
a lot of people don't really want to invest in the um, hydroponic or self-watering pot. Um, there are cheaper ones, which you can get. Um, this is really, Lechuza really is like the, I guess, the, the, the luxury brand in regards to that. But at the time when I was starting, my first plant was an, was a, was a, was an orchid and a gift. Um, I was worried I was going to kill it. I didn't know how, what to do. So I chose to get one of these and, um, I haven't turned my back ever since. I have never grown an orchid in a regular pot. I've always grown it in self-watering. And um, people always ask me, you know, what's my secret? I always tell them and nobody really wants to believe it because the only difference is like a, a more expensive pot and uh, nutrients that I provide. That's it. Some people won't get a flower for two to three years. And they always wonder like, how come I can always have flowers? I always have flowers. And these blooms actually have been blooming for five to six months since the first flower. Um, there have been a few of them that have wilted. Oh, no, no, that's the other one. Um, so my, before this one, the other batch was four to five months. This one currently is around four, uh, five to six months. I don't really know how long. I, I really want to push it more and more and more to see if I could even get it to go to seven months. Because in their natural habitat, I saw somebody saying that they were able to get their orchid. This was like in the tropics in the Philippines. She, um, they posted a picture on like an orchid group or something. And she was like, she had her blooms opening for six months. But she lives in like an area that has 100% humidity. And sometimes even higher than that. <laughs> I don't have that. I live in the United States. I live in the Midwest. Good luck with that. Um, so she has that, you know. So I'm able to mimic that. I, and I think the humidity also can be taken from this because there's always constant evaporation, which gives that, that extra humidity for the plant itself. So I, I really do feel like if you have an epiphytic plant or an orchid or even a Hoya, it really will benefit with, um, in regards to a self watering pot in my personal opinion. And that is due to my experience. Um, so here she is, isn't she just beautiful? Look, look at all the flowers. Just look at that. And she's still growing buds for me. I also do attribute, um, I think everything that I'm using is making her very happy. I also attribute the nutrients that I do provide because I do provide a ton of nutrients, different types of nutrients. Um, so that could also probably help. Again, if you're curious, check down below where I get everything that I'm using um, for my watering as well as the equipment. And thank you guys so much for the love and support. I will see you guys again next time. Bye.